Hello and welcome to another Major Market Movements End of the Week Market Review for October 23rd, 2015. I'm Kwa Ji, and in this video we are covering the FX markets, uh, starting off here with, uh, well actually, the only market we're going to be looking at today is the U.S. dollar market, and I'll explain why. Here the uh, in this panel, uh, we got DXY, and... We've shot right up here to test this blue trend line, and we're closing fairly close to it, so no immediate rejection at this point. And that blue trend line has been tested once, twice, three times already, working on the fourth time, so there is an increasing probability of a uh, rule of four breakout, or maybe even rule of five breakout in the days ahead. This downward movement is looking looked uh, ended up being very corrective not impulsive drive to the downside, suggesting that this top up here uh, may not have been sealed in, and we actually could exceed that uh, here in the near future, that 138 level. Um, I think there's, what we've got brewing here is some coiling up action that could release another impulse to the upside. And this is just, this uh, weekly surge is just a, a sign of that, an uh, early sign of uh, continued upward pressure to come. The QG3 is in a bullish alignment today to the upside. Um, and because we shot right through the 20 DMA, uh, I suspect in the next week or two, you'll probably see this um, uh, price action calm down and pull back and give that 20 DMA a uh, reasonable back test. Um, it's rare for to see a shot through the 20 DMA like that and not see in the days following at least a pullback to uh, back, back test that level. Now it is very likely, and we can all, almost see it here already, that the 20 DMA is starting to curve around and may start to uh, drift up to meet whatever uh, short-term drop we may get. They may meet up, uh, shoot, maybe around 96 or so. Um, we'll see what uh, what it does. The um, the week here, last week, we did get a hammer candle. Definitely some follow through this week um, to the upside. That's all looking very bullish. And the uh, slow stochastic does have um, upward momentum. It's open to the upside. So got good strong momentum to the upside there uh, by that indication. Um, Let's see if I can glean anything off of off of here. Nothing very solid there to show you. I really claim to be bullish or bearish um, on the EWO. The RSI we did defeat the 60 level, and we're coming up uh, towards the 70. I suspect we could, in this particular run, reach up, hit the 70, maybe then see a pullback. And then that might be a good place to get in long for some continued upside. On the weekly, the MACD was open to the downside, which was bearish. Uh, we've contracted some, but it's still open to the downside. On the daily, oh, where are you? There it is. On the daily, we've uh, clicked over also into an upward um, alignment. So that's bullish on the daily. And uh, nothing there. So overall picture, definitely looking bullish here for U.S. dollar. And I think in the, the midterm, in the weeks ahead, there could be um, even more so. They could move into higher highs um, for the midterm, even long term to come. All right. Um, I want to take a look at the Elliott Wave chart here. So, I've got a couple ideas here. This is the primary one that I'm working with. And it suggests that we've got an ABC down, an ABC up for X, and then another ABC down that completed. And um, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that this is a wave one. Not, of course, perfectly ideal, but it works. And then we got an ABC down. 
for the completion of a wave two flat. And now we see uh, the start of probably a sub wave one to the upside here that may uh, tick over that um, blue trend line just a bit and then maybe pull back into a wave two um, for in a couple weeks and finish that up. And then we shoot up into wave three of three from there. That's one potential that I see. The other potential that I see is because this drive to the downside, it did drop below this previous swing low here, just slightly. But it was very quick intraday move. So let's imagine for a moment that this didn't happen. All right? It was just a very quick, sudden uh, market mania type move um, that didn't spend very much time below this previous swing low here before it shot right back up. So if we, I want to entertain for, for the moment that maybe we have a contracting triangle count here, which would suggest that we've got uh, ABC down for wave, larger wave A, ABC up for larger B, we've got an ABC down for larger C that's finished, and then we've got a wave, uh, this could be an ABC up for a D wave, that's finishing up right here, and then this could allow for a larger wave E to the downside in the coming um, weeks also. So we'll ha we have to watch and see what kind of action we get uh, in the next couple weeks. If if it looks like we're just getting a short wave to pullback, then it would be worthwhile to get in long and ride this to the upside. However, um, if we get a sharp uh, drop down for, from the end of um, uh, this blue trend line, we get a sharp move down, and then that's going to uh, suggest that instead we may be working on a larger wave E of a contracted triangle count. And the contra contracted tri, let me put that in a different set of trend lines here, would look something like this. Here's, here's the orange for the upside, roughly. And then this would be the orange for the upside, roughly. And But in order to entertain that idea, you're going to have to uh, imagine this quick, quick jab down was just a little bit of mania um, that could be ignored. And this is actually a wave completion of a wave C, larger wave C. This is wave D, and you might get a pullback into E, which may come all the way back down here into the potentially down here in the 94 or so for that the end of wave D. So again, we just have to watch and wait and see. So um, uh, I really have nothing else to show, show you since uh, USDJPY made its shot to the upside and uh, did not basically denied uh, the thrust down out of the triangle. Um, all the other... Um, uh, markets, yeah, US or, or uh, Euro versus the dollar, Great British Pound, uh, the Aussie, and uh, the Canuck Buck, they're all um, not showing us anything uh, that's standing out as being actionable from a trading point of view. So I'm just uh, uh, not going to take the time to um, bore you with those markets if um, there's really nothing. Um, worthwhile to take advantage of it at this point in time. All right, so very quick video, and we're going to call it good right here. All right, we'll talk to you later. Adios.